Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to reading for the week of uh, July 31st. We're just going to jump right in here, Pisces, and see uh, what is going on for you. Uh, you have a spirituality card. It says use magic spells, ma um, use money magic spells to increase wealth and prosperity. Uh, you're being guided to discover your own unique spiritual path right now. Uh, and then you also have the student card. It says read books on finance to expand your knowledge. And so, uh, you know, I would include just any learning at all would be a really good idea for you. Uh, you know, I think that we're in a time of just learning and self-education anyway. So anything you can do to learn as much as you possibly can would be a really good idea, you know, especially if you're like trying to make money, obviously. Um, you have the Page of Cups, the Lovers, and the Knight of Wands. Um, so this could be new love coming in for you here. The Page of Cups could be like a new, like an admirer or someone or new offer. It's kind of, I feel like you're becoming aware of someone right here. The Queen of Swords can kind of represent like awareness or, you know, she's seeing things clearly for the first time in her life. And I, I kind of feel that for some of you where it's like you're seeing look at you're seeing someone who will make you happy or you're seeing some something that could make you happy here pisces at least yeah look this looks like a dream like a wish a wish you know a dream or a wish come true or something like that could be a fire sign you be you've been getting a fire sign in your readings for a while so it could be a fire sign could be any sign uh, but let's see what is going on for you here you have the page of cups again lovers and the knight of wands um you know, I would be I would be careful of any inconsistent energy, but uh, we're gonna have to look into this. I don't always, you know, I know like every reader and their mother reads this card as a person who's inconsistent, but you know, it's like I don't think that Knight of Wands is always a bad thing. Um, you know, it could be, but you know, like I always say, I read tarot holistically. I take every single card into account and how how the cards connect as well. And uh, really, he's not connected to anything you know, like super negative. If, you know, there was like the seven of swords here, the devil, the magician, you know, things like that, but all together, uh, then, then, you know, maybe I would say, okay, this is an inconsistent person. But uh, number one, I kind of feel like this is your energy here, Pisces. I feel like you're in this energy of exploring. Um, you have that student card. And so it looks to me like you are learning quite a bit. It looks to me like you could be educating yourself as well, which I think would be a great idea. So, you know, this might just be exploration. You know, he there are certain things that are mysteries to him, the Knight of Wands. And so he has to go like learn from mystery, basically. You see these three pyramids right here. And again, it kind of represents the fact that he has to learn from mysteries or things that are mysterious uh, uh, to him. You have the lovers here. So definitely could be love coming in for you. Could be a water sign or a fire sign. Could be an earth sign as well. I don't, I don't you know, basically everything. <laughs> Could be anything, Pisces. Everything stands out to me. I do feel like it'll be a very strong connection. And I feel like this is something that you're becoming aware of uh, at this time. So, you know what I mean? Um, I, I, it might it might be a person who's been interested in you or, you know, like a person you work with or a person you go to school with because you have that student card or whatever the case may be. And I feel like you're waking up to this. I do feel that around this time there will be communication you have the page of pentacles here so you know this could be a person communicating with you or reaching out to you uh, you have the page of cups again could be an admirer i feel like this is divinely guided as well the lovers you know this right here is your higher self angel and it's like guiding these two people together so you know i feel that it's like you two are you know if this is a person you're both being guided together i'm also getting here that it you know that you should be learning from someone as well uh, at this time, this card, this student card says work with a, a mentor to learn new skills or help you achieve your goals. So, you know, again, learning from a person would probably be a really good idea for you right now, Pisces. With the page of cups, yeah, you have the four of cups. I feel like you, like everybody else, you've been, you know, maybe disappointed in love or maybe, I, I wouldn't say you're really giving up on love. I don't think Pisces ever really gives up on love for the most part, but you know, maybe you've you're just at that point where you're like, does it love even exist? <laughs> this could be you disappointed. But you know, again, I think you're about to wake up to the 10 of cups if you want love. Uh, with the lovers, you have the seven of wands. Again, I would be careful of your boundaries. Of course, you know, of course, put up bound, you know, have have boundaries you and you end with the seven of wands as well. Um, personally, I love the seven of wands as a card of conviction. 
It's a card that says when you know that you know that something is going to be successful for you, then it will be successful for you. But, um, you know, what I would say here with the lovers, you have two sevens, which two sevens to me is internal fears that don't exist. So, you know, there might be some fears because of past situations. And I feel this is just saying, you know, just take your time. And of course, don't be so closed off that you push a person away, right? So, you know, it's a balancing act. But, um, you know, I, I feel like it's saying it's safe for you to open up to a new person. With the Page of Wands, you uh, what do you know? Yes, you have the King of Swords. You need a mentor. <laughs> you need someone to look up to. You need someone to learn from. You need someone to, you know, that can help educate you. This could be physically, like as in you could physically be with this person. Or again, there are, I have mentors that are dead that I watch every single day on YouTube, right? So there are people on YouTube, you know, there are videos from basically everything. So a mentor could be a person that you just learn from where you watch their videos or something like that. So, you know, I feel like you, you need that. Even if you, going this direction, you know, even if you feel like you know everything that there is to know about something, uh, you know, it's like, I, I think sometimes there's always, you know, there's always a new perspective. There's always, we can always gain a different perspective on things that we already know. And, um, you know, those have been not to like brag, but those have been like some of the most life changing moments in my life is like, you know, get learning from a person who's teaching me something I already know, but their the perspective shift is kind of like the thing that changes my life. And I kind of see that here actually going this way, you know, you are the hangman Pisces, you are, you know, a perspective shift, basically, <laughs> you know, most people, uh, you know, my, most Pisces come into the world and you are here to shift people's perspectives. And, you know, I'd say with a star, that's definitely true. And especially with Pluto and Aquarius. So what I would say is anything you can do to shift your own perspective will be um, very, very important for you just in general. Uh, next, you have this race against time card. It says limited time to do it. It says avoid distractions and increase your focus. Yeah, I would get moving, especially if you're feeling called to do something great. This direction right here, judgment, star, king of pentacles. I feel a lot of you could be building something um, permanent. You know, it's like, I, I, I feel I have a million freaking things as usual popping into my head for you here, Pisces. You know, there's a book, um, it's called The Innovation Stack. And in that book, he says that sometimes we might have an idea um, where we just kind of, we it, it's like, we think it's a good idea, but we're also kind of afraid to get started and we have nothing to compare it to the idea, whatever it is, could be an idea for a business, could be in, in any other area of your life. And um, and we are kind of, we, we are afraid to get started because we're like, oh, there's nothing to compare this to, but really it just hasn't entered into the collective consciousness yet. So, you know, there's a, a billion examples of like two inventions that have been invented at the same time, like the telephone. It was invented like at the same exact time by two different people, right? Alexander Graham Bell or whatever gets all the credit, but really there was like another guy somewhere else, I can't remember his name, unfortunately, right? <laughs> uh, who invented it at the same exact time. There's like a million examples of that. So, you know, it's like once something enters into the collective consciousness, it's like you need to get moving on it because, you know, you might have an idea that's very unique, but if someone else starts it, then, then you're gonna be the other guy that everybody forgets about, right? Uh, you have this card that says in the works. What's really crazy is I read this card real quickly when I put it down and I thought it said it works. And there's a great book that's changed my life. It's called It Works. I think it's literally a dollar ninety nine. I actually think you can read it for free. It's by R H J. Uh, and I think also it's probably for free on YouTube. You can probably listen to it for free. But um, you know, uh, I would definitely go either listen to it or read it because it popped into my head. A uh, really easy, simple, simple book. Um, this card says it has already begun. What you want, want you. Yes, definitely time to get moving. I feel like I said this to you in your last reading on this project. You have the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Judgment card. You're definitely waking up to something important. Too much thinking though, <laughs> as usual. You know, over, this is overthinking with the Seven of Cups, needing to, you know, move towards your Ten of Cups, which is happiness, happiness in the world. Some of you, I feel, need to believe that you deserve happiness. I feel like you really need to feel that, like that, that you deserve to be happy. And, you know, one, and that's the, gonna be the thing that brings more happiness into your life. So, you know, I feel believing it is gonna be important. You have the Queen of Swords. It's like you finally understand or see clearly what to do. I also feel that you're really focusing on your own happiness in the right way. You know, um, what ha, what is the wrong way to focus on your happiness? Well, it's like, if you want love, for example, just letting old, any old bozo into your life, that's like the wrong way. You might think love makes you happy and just letting a person in is going to make you happy. But she is like more picky. She doesn't just say, oh, I'm gonna allow, allow love into my life. She says, oh, I'm gonna allow this type of person into my life so that 
you know, that I can maintain my happiness. The Ten of Cups is a choice, and, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but I feel like you are you have gained a lot of clarity, and you're putting this clarity in your life into practice in all areas of your life, and uh, this is leading to some major improvements. You have the Judgment card here. Uh, again, Judgment is about waking up. These people are in these coffins. The coffin is their old life. Outside the coffin is their new life. And again, I'm not even trying to be dramatic here or anything, Pisces, but I really feel out of like all the signs, you are definitely one of the signs that is going to be going through um, a major change, like kind of rising up from you know one life to another life. So your old life is dying. And this could be, um, you know, you could be walking away from people, places, things. You could be, uh, people could be saying to you, things to you like you've changed and all this other stuff. And you need to take that as a compliment. <laughs> you need to say, damn straight, I am not exactly the same as you, right? Yes, damn straight, I have changed. You know, that's what you need to say here. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, you have the Seven of Swords. You know, I would be careful of a past person. We do have Venus Retrograde. And, you know, Judgment card is one of the only cards in the tarot I consider a past person. So, you know, once a liar, always a liar as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, it's like one of those things. People always love to tell me how their ex came back and is not a liar anymore. I'm like, yeah, but if they're an adult and they're lying, it's like they know that that's wrong in the first place. You know, I don't know. Do I need to say more? Probably not. With the Seven of Cups, you have the Tower. The Tower's actually cut, came up in reverse. Um, so that's interesting. This could be you avoiding a tower moment or needing to be careful of a person who could cause a tower moment. The other thing that I will tell you, Pisces, is that this right here, to me, is the most powerful combination of the tarot, the tower and the judgment card. To me, it represents like a major revelation, a major wake-up call, um, you know, something like that. And so I do feel some of you could have be having a really big wake-up call that's leading to the start. Uh, I kind of feel like this is a good thing. Also, this is the, be the good way. This is how you want the tarot to be right here. <laughs> you want to go from the tower to the star because this would suggest that you are healing from a tower moment. One thing that I am getting though, is I feel like there is still, there are still some like attachments with that seven of cups. You know, you could have had a tower moment in any area of your life, some sort of loss, um, something crumbling. People always say, what is a tower moment? It's like something that has broken down in your life, or it could be a shock to your system. Uh, really, the tower is seeing reality for what it is. You th it, it, usually a tower moment is you think your reality is one thing, in your brain and then things come crumbling down. So it could be like a breakup where you get blindsided, where you you thought you were gonna be with a person forever and then they break up with you. That's a tower moment. Um, losing your job, um, you know, having your car break down can be a tower moment, things like that, right? And so I feel like you're kind of like healing from a tower moment here. With the judgment card, you have the Knight of Swords. Yes, I would be careful of a past person here. Uh, so, you know, I would just be careful. Knight of Swords is like something rushing in, someone trying to rush you. So uh, no rushing at this time. Um, I do feel that Pisces, you could be entering into a time as well where it's like people could be coming to you for help, but I feel you're in this place where you re really need to help yourself. And I'm pretty sure I said this to you in your last reading. Uh, in the area of the unexpected, you have this card that says, know that whatever decision you made was the right one. Yes, and this is why, because these are the results right here. Ten of Cups, Star, King of Wands. <laughs> there you go. The healing must be completed before your life can transform. Yes, you have to continue with this healing. As I was saying, I'm seeing the Seven of Cups not really as bad, but you know, I feel there are still maybe some little you know, attachments, like I said, around a tower moment. So if you had a breakup or a job loss, there could still be some like fears or some anxieties or some feelings around the situation and I do feel this is saying like go full go through the full healing uh, now's a great time to do it we have a billion retrogrades right now so you know every planet and its mother is basically going to be going retrograde soon um for the most part, <laughs> you know, some, some planets aren't, but, you know, Mercury, Venus, the two big ones there, uh, you know, the two important ones, I should say. Um, so, you know, I, I, basically, it's a great time to heal, revisit things, all that other stuff. You have the Ten of Cups, the Star, and the King of Wands. Again, I do feel that there could be unexpected love coming in for you. I, I don't know that it's really unexpected. I just think, like I said at the beginning of the reading, with the Queen of Swords, it's like you just haven't been looking at it. You know, that's more the feeling that I get. It's like maybe when it shows up, you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, of course this person's interested in me. But, you know, I, I kind of feel, I'm not saying that it's unexpected, but I do feel it's a little bit of a surprise. The Ten of Cups is fortune after difficulty, good things coming in for you. I feel the more you focus on your Ten of Cups, the better. Ten of Cups encourages you to focus on happiness so you can bring more joy into your life. And the more you do that, the more successful you'll be. 
Uh, you have the star. I feel like you need to work towards your star. There's something you need to work on. Again, before someone else works on it. So if you have any ideas, Pisces, to get started on something, just get started. It's, it's almost like you um, getting started on it is going to be the thing that like locks it in. You know what I mean? It's like that's going to be the thing that makes it yours. <laughs> whatever your idea is. It could be to like write a book. It could be to start a business or whatever. It's like don't end up like the other guy with the telephone. Like I said, I, re I really feel that here with the star card. It's like, again, this right here is the pool of universal consciousness. And she, the, look at these ripples going out. It's like you've sent the ripples of an idea out into the pool of universal consciousness, right? You, you have you have put some things out into the world. And so it's like the the vibration can be picked up on. And I really feel you need to get moving here. It's like, it's yours right now. <laughs> so get moving. With the uh, King of Wands, uh, I feel like you're taking control of your life. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of success coming in for you. I do feel there could be a King of Wands type person or a King of Pentacles uh, coming in for you here. You almost have all four kings. You have the King of Swords as well. But so it could be like a real emperor type person. It's almost like someone's being prepared for you, Pisces. You know, take and it doesn't have to be a man, by the way, uh, whatever gender you're into. But you know, it's almost like someone is being prepared or has been prepared behind the scenes for you. So you know, this could be like a real divine connection or whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's see here, Pisces. You know, continue this healing or finish your healing. Yes, with the Ten of Cups. Are you kidding? You have the Two of Cups. Definitely love. <laughs> this is a very strong match. So there is like a significant connection coming in for you. Uh, with the star, you have the Ten of Wands, like finish line, you know what I mean? Like, that's the type of vibe I get here. The Ten of Wands, he's normally carrying those wands, and his home is in the background of the card. He's about to reach his home, and so it kind of says that he's about to have a harvest. Those Ten Wands, he has, you know, he has grown those Ten Wands. Those Ten Wands are, it's a burden, but it's also a harvest. It's something that he has carried. So he's about to have a harvest. I feel like you're about to have a harvest. And with the King of Wands, you have the Nine of Swords. I do feel like you're afraid of repeating a cycle here. So if you're meeting a new person, just pay attention to what you didn't pay attention to with the last one, as I always say. You know, it's like, you know, and again, I feel also that if you're meeting a new person, I really feel there's nothing to worry about. I feel like this person is going to prove it with you to you, basically. Uh, next, in the area of the good stuff, you have this Be Playful card and you have this Crow Spirit. It says, co-create with spirit. I really feel spirit is trying to send you sign symbols, synchronicities. I, I even think that in those moments where you're, you're being a typical Pisces and you're just uh, you know looking out the window daydreaming, I feel like the universe is getting you excited about something. So if you feel excited about like an idea, a plan, a goal, a wish, a dream, then I feel that is a clue from the universe that you need to move in that direction and you need to get to work. You have the King of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. The King of Pentacles is financial stability. So I do feel there could be a lot of financial stability coming in for you with the King of Pentacles or you're just like increasing your finances in some way here. Uh, I also feel that this could be a person, I do feel it could be an earthy person that's coming in for you. You know, it could also be, you know, like I said, you have basically every single sign here. So, you know, take it how it resonates. It could be any sign, but it could just be a person who's super grounded or, you know, a person who's really realistic or something like that. I feel like they also want to make this a reality just in general. Uh, you have the Page of Pentacles. I am getting good news here as well. So if you're waiting for good news, I feel like there could be good news coming in for you. I also feel you need to not be afraid to learn. You have that student card. The Page of Pentacles is the card of studiousness. So the card of learning. And I feel you need to learn as much as you can right now. And then with the Seven of Wands, I do get the feeling that you need to protect an idea. Um, like I said, if you have some sort of idea that is unique, that you really can't compare to anything else, then I feel that this reading is your is your clue to go be your own unique Pisces self and you know create whatever it is that you're creating, right? Uh, let's see. With the King of Pentacles, you have the Page of Wands. Is that every single page now? No, you're missing the Page of Swords, right? So whatever, but there's definitely an admirer coming in for you. Uh, with the Page of Pentacles, you have the Hermit. Could be a Virgo as well. Uh, Virgo right here, so... You know, I feel that. For others, I feel the this is you having been through a difficult cycle. And now you're coming out the other side. The hermit is like going on a rite of passage. And uh, now you're coming out of a rite of passage. With the seven of wands, what do you know? You have the ten of cups here again. So uh, ten of cups twice is pretty good. Again, this could be a connection that's coming in for you that you are going to want to protect. So it could be like a relationship or, you know, whatever um, that you want to protect. Um, it could also be 
that um, there's just a lot of happiness coming in for you. It, and I also do feel it is encouraging you to protect your happiness. Again, read that book, It Works. Again, I'm pretty sure you can read it for free. And it's a super simple idea, basically, the book. So, you know, you basically just write down a list of all the things you want in life and then you read it three times a day. Uh, I simple, there's more to it. So go read the book. But what I would say is, I don't know, it's changed my life. So, <laughs> and you know, I it kind of popped into my head there. And again, it's a great way to maintain your happiness. I think we have to, you know, we don't just get to be happy. So, so, you know, I feel like you have to maintain your happiness. Uh, uh, we're going to pull five main themes. You have this card that says discord among family or friends. This is you feeling different is really what I feel. I, I feel people could be coming to you. Uh, and this makes a lot of sense with your astrology as well. And in, in saying, oh, you're different. You've changed. Um, you know, how dare you become successful? <laughs> Those things. But keep going. You have this pale card that says time to get out of a situation. Yeah, if you have a toxic person in your life, I feel it is time to get out of that situation. You have this ring card that says a marriage will take place either romantically or in business. There you go. So it could be either or Pisces, but you know, if you don't want love, this could be something really, I don't really think this has to be about love either. Again, I feel this reading is about you doing things that make you happy and maybe putting something unique into the world. So you could be committed to that as well, but definitely a good love reading. Uh, you have this fox card. It says shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Yeah, I feel I kind of feel like you need to be careful of like who you share what with, um, kind of needing to keep your ideas to yourself, protecting your ideas. All that would be a good idea uh, with this energy for sure. And uh, finally, you have this horseshoe card. It says good luck on it. So definitely good luck. This is amazing reading, Pisces. Um, you, know, you know, I think I said to you in your last reading that, you know, really I feel this part of the year is kind of when things start to really get going and really get good for you. So, you know, keep putting in the work, but it looks good. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.